You're welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm answering question number five um, from the IGCSE Cambridge Paper 4, Variant 1, um, from June 2022. This is the 0580 exam. And this question here is about this uh, regular octagon for which we have a part of it shown in this diagram, A, B, C, D, F, G, H. It's a regular octagon. Okay, that's an important word here. Okay, it has eight sides octagon and also regular means all the angles and the sides are the same length inside the octagon. Um, the diagram shows part of the octagon. O is the center of the octagon and M is the midpoint of AB. Um, we know that the length AB is six centimeters. Show that the angle OAM, OAM, this angle over here, show that this angle is 67.5 degrees. All right, now... So we've got to find what this angle is. Now, um, probably the easiest way of dealing with this question is if we consider, let's think of it, about it as, as if we had the whole shape in front of us. I'm just going to... It's not really regular. Let me just do it so it's regular. We have to press this button here. The shift button, maybe. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of replicate the situation here a bit. Let me just... Um, Make the lines a bit thinner. One second. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, join these opposite corners together. Just to illustrate something. Okay. So basically what we've got is something like this. This, this is like ABO. That's, that's what we have here. We have that section of it. But what you can notice is that, you know, when you do this and you join these together, you basically have here eight triangles. They're all identical. They're all congruent triangles. So all of these angles here, these eight angles are all equal to each other. They're all the same length. They're the same, the same size, all these angles. So the whole thing is 360 and there's eight of them. So you can say that the angle AOB is going to be 360 divided by eight. That's this angle over here, this whole angle here, AOB. Okay, now, so 360 divided by 8 gives us um, 45 degrees. So this angle here is 45 degrees. Now, we know that this is um, OA and OB are both the same length. This is an isosceles triangle. So the angle AOB, um, OAB, sorry, um, OAM, angle OAM, this angle over here, let's call it uh, theta. All right, we can say that this is also theta as well. This is the same angle because this is an isosceles triangle. So we can say 2 theta plus 45 degrees is equal to 180. So we can say theta is 180 minus 45 divided by 2, which is 135 divided by 2, which gives us 67.5 degrees. And that's exactly what we had to show. So here, when they, especially when they tell you to show us an angle, you have to show your steps very carefully. So what I'm trying to make you understand is that this angle here is 360 divided by 8, because there's 8 of these triangles you can make in this regular octagon. And they're all the same. They're all congruent because it's regular, right? So that's going to be 45, and then you have isosceles triangle, and we're trying to find this angle, same as that angle because it's isosceles, because OB and OA, of course, are the same. And therefore, we have our answer for part A. Then it says, calculate the area of the octagon. Now, to find the area of a um, triangle, we could use a variety of methods. We know that this angle now is 67.5. So let me just... Um, right, this is 67.5. We know this length is 6 centimeters. All right. So, for example, now I could find what one of these lengths are. Okay, I could use, for example, even the, the sine rule. Or I could use the cosine, I could use trigonometry, 3D, 3D uh, I'm mean, sorry, SOCATO trigonometry, because we have a right angle. I could use the sine rule uh, to find one of these lengths. So, for example, if I want to find what this length is, okay, because I can use the formula for the area of a triangle, we can use the formula. The area is a half A, B, sine C. If we know two sides and the angle between them, we can find the area. So there's a variety of things. I could find this height here even. In fact, that's you know quite easy to do. 
I could find this height here. In fact, that's probably the easiest thing to do. Find the length OM. And you have a half times a base times a height. We could do that. And it's easy to find this height because we know this angle. And we know that this length here, AM, is 3. 3 centimeters. Because uh, this is the midpoint of AB. So we could take just that part of the triangle. Okay, we could just... I can just take a snapshot of it like this and take that part of the triangle. So if I just take this part of the triangle here and deal with it down here, keep it a bit smaller. If I just consider, oops, if I just consider just this section here, this triangle here, okay, and I want to find Basically, I've got something like this. Okay, I want to find this, this vertical height of this triangle. The triangle actually looks like this. The, tri the triangle that I'm trying to find the area of, um, then I can multiply by eight because there's eight of them. So it looks something like this, the triangle I'm trying to find the area of. It's not so so good, but anyway. Right, so I know, for example, that this is A and this is M and this is B. Six centimeters is the whole of that. Now, if I can find what this length here is, let me call this H, this OM, okay? Then I can do a half times six times this H, right? So I know that this angle here is 67.5. So I can, I know this is a right angle. I know this is three centimeters. So if I consider this, a uh, right angle triangle okay this is the opposite this is the um, adjacent so I can say the tangent of 67.5 is equal to the height over 3 so therefore the height of this uh, this triangle is 3 times the tan of 67.5 I can leave it like this because it's not my final answer and I can put that in my calculations now I know that the area of the whole octagon is 8 times because there's 8 of these triangles Oh, there's eight of these triangles, eight times, and then you got the base, a half times the base times the height. So a half times the base, which is six, times the height, which is all of this, three times tan of 67.5. Okay, so that's a half times the base times the height. So it's eight of those. So that will give us, that will give us our answer. So that's going to be four times six, which is 24. That's, yeah, four times six, 24 times three times the tan of 67.5. We must be sure we're in degree mode. We are. So that gives us our answer, which is 173.823. 173.823. It tells us, it doesn't tell us how to round our answer, so we should round it to three significant figures. So 174 centimeters squared. All right, now there was a variety of ways I could have used. I could have found the length of this length here by using the sine rule, for example, I could say sine 65, x over sine 65 equals 6 over sine 45, and then I could have said a half times x times x times sine 45, half a, b, sine c, I could have found the, the um, uh, you know, the, the area that way. Okay, here what I used was actually half times base times height. I didn't use this, okay, half times base times height. I don't know why I wrote that. I didn't actually use this. I used the half times base times height. Half times base times height. That's what we use. Half times six times three tan 67.5. All right. But we could have done it using that. We could have found this length and we already have that length and used a half times x times six times sine 67.5. So, you know, there's a variety of different methods we could have used to, 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 to get the answer. Now, I'll show you, for example, if we wanted to use the method where I, I found what this length is, I could have said x over sine of... 67.5 is equal to 6 over the sine of 45. So x equals 6 times the sine of 67.5 over the sine of 45. And that would have given me x. Then I could have said a half times x squared times the sine of 45. Okay, a half times x times x times the sine of 45. Let's see if that gives us the same answer it should do. Okay, so I could have done a half, 0 0.5 times um, all of this squared. So I'll, I'll put this in a bracket, 6 sine 
67.5 over sine 45. That's x and then square that times sine 45. And then we have to take that's one of them, then we have to multiply that by 8, of course, times 8. And it gives us exactly the same answer. Of course, we have to multiply this by 8 because that's just for one of them. So we see we get exactly the same answer, 173.83, exactly the same. So there's lots of ways of finding the answer to this question. We could use, as I said, the sine rule, finding what these two lengths are, and then a half a, b, sine c. Or we could have used what we did here. There's lots of different ways. And uh, whichever way you do it, that's fine. Um, that's perfectly good. But the answer in the end is 174 centimeters squared to 3 SF. Then it says part two, find the area of the circle that passes through the vertices of this octagon. So basically what I need to know is I need to know the length X here. Okay, that will be like the radius of the circle. So, you know, what I've done here, okay, I can, I can now use that method to find what X is. So the radius of the circle... The radius of the circle that you know will be formed would be the length of AO. The radius would be AO or OA. And we can say that from what we've seen here. Okay, if I again just take a snapshot of this so that we can don't have to keep going up and down. Take a snapshot of this and put it down here. We can see that. You know, this AO, I've already found it when I showed you the second method, but we can use this, the sine rule. So we can say the sine, uh, we can say X over the sine of 67.5 is equal to 6 over the sine of 45. So X is equal to 6 times the sine of 67.5 over the sine of 45. That is X, that is now the radius of the circle. So the, the area of the circle is pi times r squared. So it's pi times all of this sine, 6 sine, 67.5 over the sine of 45 squared. That will be the area of this circle because that would be the radius, AO. So we can um, basically just take this part here. So we have pi times, and then we have 6 times the sine of 67.5 over the sine of 45. I've just kept everything in its exact form and then that squared and that will give me the area which is 193.069 193.069 so of course that's 193 of course the area is going to be more of the circle because it includes um, all of these parts the circle would go on the outside of all of these so there's going to be a bigger it's going to be a bigger area because this this is not included in the octagon but it's included in the area of the circle sorry all right so there we have the answer to part two five a part uh, two uh, from this june 2022 paper this is all about i guess trigonometry and also um areas um, there's a lot of different topics here, actually. Um, five part B, I've also been asked to do that, but I'll do that in a separate video. So five part A is like areas of basic shapes and um, a bit of trigonometry involved. But I'll leave that as a separate video. So um, questions from this paper, the June 20, 2022 paper four variant one from Cambridge uh, can be found in the um, playlist over here other questions dealing with the i guess i'll put it under a uh, menstruation over there playlist over here and also i'll put it under trigonometry i'll put it under basic shapes areas of basic shapes and i'll also put it under trigonometry and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching and see you soon